Hello, welcome to the release overview video for Enscape 2.8. Over the course of the next four minutes, we'll have a detailed look at the new features this Enscape version offers. The collaborative annotation feature, animated vegetation, healthcare themed assets and a lot more. Introducing animated trees and grass. Use the new global wind intensity and direction settings you can find in the visual settings atmosphere tab and control the way trees, grass and water move and sway in the wind. Do you want to control your water separately? No worries. You can still override the global settings for each water material separately. We know that many of our users are using our grass material as carpet material. So we added a new distinctive carpet material following the keywords short carpet or a long carpet. This new layer of realism makes for more vivid, lifelike visualizations in videos, real-time presentations and even virtual reality. In times in which we need to consider social contact carefully, it's invaluable to discuss ideas freely and with as few obstacles as possible. With the collaborative annotations feature, you can now file notes and lead discussions right in your Enscape visualization. At any point during an Enscape visualization, you can now press the C key on your keyboard to open collaborative mode. Now either click the Create Issue button or right click any object in your scene and click Create Issue to set up a new discussion point. Now the first thing Enscape will do is to render an image to store as description for your new issue. Enter a descriptive title, a description, click save and now choose one of three possible ways to share your collaborative annotation. Option 1. Simply save your project file. Be it Revit, SketchUp, Rhino, Archicad or Vectorworks, Enscape collaborative annotations are being saved by default in your project file. So if you're sharing your project with other architects or if you have it saved on a central server, your comments will be available for your colleagues immediately. Option number two, save your comments as BCF file, BIM collaboration format. Not only can you share these files easily with anybody who is also using Enscape, using the established BCF format will also allow you to share your comments with many other industry standard applications. Option number three, synchronize your collaborative annotations with BIMTrack. If you have a BIMTrack subscription, you can now use the full functionality seamlessly with Enscape and synchronize your whole communication using this powerful tool. Other team members can now either use their BIMTrack credentials or enter a local name using this button to enter their comments and start a discussion. Don't forget to change the status to reflect the state each and every issue is currently in. Using this feature, you can keep track of the issues and tasks and communicate with your co-workers and clients. Last but not least, I want to discuss with you a technical issue many of you unfortunately encountered in the past. When rendering an Enscape image in too high of a resolution, it was possible for Enscape to crash if your graphics card ran out of memory. To prevent this, we've now added the Auto Upsampling checkbox, enabled by default in the General Settings Performance tab. If during the rendering process Enscape discovers your computer is running out of VRAM, while this option is enabled, it will instead render the image in a lower resolution, using a powerful upsampling process to increase the detail level back to the desired resolution. Using this method, higher resolution rendering should now be possible with next to no quality loss. We hope you'll have lots of success using this latest Enscape version and don't hesitate to reach out to us writing to support at enscape3d.com or hit the feedback button with any ideas or questions regarding this latest release.